Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Abita Triple Haze, 8% alcohol, a raspberry golden lager. Now they've been having the Purple Haze for many years. This is the Triple Haze, a Tripel version of our famous Purple Haze. Now, uh, this was introduced as part of the Abita Select series in uh, 2011 and it's been bottled since 2016. Beer Advocate doesn't have enough ratings to give it an average score. Rate Beer does, and they're saying it's a uh, 46 out of 100, a 73 out of 100 for the style. So, not too thrilled. Malted barley, wheat, pearl hops, and raspberry puree are in this 8% 22 IBU beer. Best Buy, June 16th of 2016. Here at 8.45 a.m., no clouds in the sky. It's in the low 50s and quickly warming. You can see the sun there. Uh, it's gonna be about 75 degrees today, so I won't be wearing this sweatshirt. Okay, ah, some smoke. This is the 30th anniversary of Abita Brewing in Abita Springs. All right. Now, the rumor has it that when they first came out with the Purple Haze, it had so much fruit in it that it would ferment and bur burst the, uh, you know, pop the tops off the bottles. I don't know if that's true because they used to have twist caps and I don't know how that would happen, but uh, whatever they said they reduced the amount people told me they reduced the amount of fruit I never heard that from any of beta people at first I didn't like this beer and then I kind of it kind of grew on me although I'm not really one for flavored beers you probably know that uh, it smells like a mild almost like a light beer and I don't pick up any fruit in the aroma a tripel lager eh? thick white head maybe slightly off-white but not really uh, the appearance is hazy, golden, and not purple at all. And by the way, this is the first video review for this beer in the world. Well, I'll be honest. It tastes a lot like Purple Haze and Andy Gator mixed together. It's like Andy Gator with a, a slight fruitiness. Um, but it's got the alcohol punch in the face right off the bat. That little sourness that Andy Gator has and that harsh bitterness that Andy Gator has. Andy Gator, um, kind of like Salvatore, Andy Gator, Andy Gator. Which originally, back in 1993, was called Andy Gator Malt Liquor. And when that term started to uh, take on bad connotations, Abita decided all of a sudden that it was Andy Gator Helles Doppelbach, which is what a malt liquor is. <laughs> In most cases, the 7% and above malt liquors are Helles Doppelbachs. Bright double box, so there you have it. And your 5.6% malt liquors like Mickey's up to 7% would just be Helles box. That's all they are. Helles adjunct box. You could call this an adjunct because it uses fruit flavor. Actual fruit. But um, that's just a shade of a taste. The main taste is malted barley and wheat. It's like bread. It tastes like a little slightly sour, quite bitter, fairly boozy bread. I would think on the sweetness scale, it'd be three out of five sugar cubes, maybe four, but probably more like three. It's not overly sweet. The bitterness would be, mm -hmm. they say 22 IBUs. Oh, uh, hey, hey, I'm thinking it's higher than that in, in how it actually tastes. The IBU is a number, but in the real world bitterness, it's more like three and a half to four uh, hop cones, truly. 
a lot of times the IBU does not match up with what you're getting. They'll have a high, high, high IBU, 70 or 80, and it'll barely taste bitter. And other ones that'll be fairly low, like, um, for instance, Miller Genuine Draft. I don't think the IBU on there is any higher than 12, but it has a lot. But when you taste it, it's a lot more bitter from the hops, those Galena hops. So, but whatever the case, the body is medium to heavy. The finish is fairly crisp. It's easy going. It's pretty refreshing because I was thirsty. Uh, nice lacing. A dangerous beer because it's a 22 ounce bottle. It's 8% alcohol. And I'm sure it can really knock you down and hit you. I'm going to go get some crackers and some cream cheese and onions to try to balance that out. So, um, boy, it's an overriding <laughs> grain flavor. Sort of like bush beer, believe it or not. Um, so if you want a 22 ounce bottle of beer that's about five dollars that tastes sort of like bush beer or I want to say hurricane high gravity but no it's and, uh, and bush beer is 4.3 percent but it it does have that flavor um, I don't know if that's what they're shooting for but anyway Check it out if that's what you want. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily, I would just mm, probably, for 8%, if I wanted an 8% beer that had kind of a harsh bitterness, um, yeah, I would get uh, Hurricane High Gravity. Yeah, okay, so lazy, and it's on par with this. You know, Hurricane High Gravity is probably an A minus, B plus. This is A minus, B plus range. Very good to lower end of excellent. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to. Southeastern Louisiana, specifically Baton Rouge, Louisiana. <laughs>